Hey, what offers an interactive newspaper online? One of the social mediums that we could study during this chapter is called WordPress. Uh, what this website is, is basically a blogging page for uh, both consumers and companies to utilize. Um, with it, there are interactive things where you can post what you want consumers or the people to see, and then um, the ability to subscribe to and comment on different blogs so that there's not only um, you know, an output of information, but the ability to communicate and you know, really enhance what we have online. Uh, this is a totally free site for you to use. Um, basically, there's uh, a few different components. There's what can be looked at as you know, the office. That's what only the user can see. Um, it provides you know, the ability to post blogs, edit things, um, look at different stats and stuff, which we'll talk about in a little bit, and then really just create the setup and design behind your blog. There's also the front page of the newspaper, basically. This is what's available to the public. And after you post your blog, this is what's able to see within your website. Um, there, within web, WordPress, it's really easy to use, which is nice. Um, a lot of people want to blog and you know kind of journal about what they're going through, but don't know how to. So WordPress creates videos and demonstrations on the how-tos behind um, how to use WordPress. Everything from enrolling in WordPress to publishing your first blog to utilizing those stats and stuff like that um, so you can really get out there and not only blog but get famous and have a lot of people follow your blog. Um, the really cool part is that there's those stats that I was talking about. Uh, you can see who's viewing your site, what they're doing when they're on your site, and then from there, enhance it so that you can get what you want out of the whole blogging uh, thing. There's also the ability to add tags so that you can, when people search for different things that they're looking for, your blog will come up. For instance, I created a blog called The Filthy Rich Student. And this is basically a blog about money management in college. Uh, so within that, I created different tags, uh, such as money management, finances, um, student, college, lots of different stuff, just so that when people search any of those things, my blog will show up. Um, from there, they can find relevant stuff, and I can get seen and get noticed. Uh, from this, too, my tags, um, I'll be able to see that within my stats or my graphs, so that I know which tags are most effective, who's getting relevant information when they're using those searches. Uh, that way, I can, you know, maybe change up or enhance what I'm doing, too. Um, like I said, this can be used for consumers and companies. So whether it's, you know, my blog about money management or a big company's uh, blog about using a spe specific product or service, it's utilized by lots of different people. Now, the consumers that use this really can be anyone. Uh, a couple examples, maybe someone like Carol, a stay-at-home mom who loves baking and really wants to connect with other women that are going through what she's going through. So her blog may be, you know, have things like her favorite recipes, um, what arts and crafts she did with her kids yesterday, and then what she's doing in the community so that she can have a social life, even though she's got five or six little kids running around the house. Another example, maybe someone like Rory, who is a really dedicated and motivated college student, who is kind of upset about the excuses that people come up with. Um, so, you know, when they don't get their homework done or, you know, because they're broke, you know, they come up with excuses. So his blog may be about effective time management um, so that people can get the most use out of their day. Uh, basically, anyone who has something to say can use WordPress. And because it's so easy to use and they have um, tips for writing and posting and things like that, even if you just have very basic writing skills, you can utilize WordPress and get a lot out of it. Now on the opposite end, there are a lot of professional um, organizations, companies, products and services that could benefit from WordPress. Organizations that um, would benefit most would be those that want to communicate their message, their purpose behind the organization. Um, in addition, they may post upcoming events and ways for other people to get involved. Um, this is a really great way for there to be that interaction to promote the organization. Uh, an example is AskMeAboutGod.com. 
this blog is a kind of an alternative approach to uh, promoting Christianity instead of the conservative um, textbook kind of uh, way or approach of conforming to Christianity. This blog just talks about the everyday stuff that people go to and how it can relate to religion. Now, companies that would really benefit from WordPress would be those that want to communicate and hear what consumers have to say about their company. So pretty much anyone who wants to be successful. An example would be Target. This company, as we all know, has been really successful because it has a really unique approach to marketing. And they also want to hear what consumers have to say. So by having a blog on WordPress, they're able to talk about upcoming things, different products, um, and what consumers think or perceive of the company overall. This really helps about or helps to enhance and create new marketing strategies and marketing campaigns. So the target is always on top of the game there. Now, products that would benefit from WordPress would be those that are kind of um, intricate or detailed and have, you know, sometimes more, they need, you know, more instruction so that people can use them. An example would be Mac computers. Um, this Apple has a blog on WordPress so that consumers can have a different community where everybody can come together, uh, learn different things about the computer itself, and just find different ways of how people are using it. That way it not only promotes the product and explains all the different uses, but it creates that sense of community so that consumers that use Mac um, can talk to other consumers too. And then services, um, this could be a wide range. Services are always out there to help consumers. So by having a blog in addition to that service, it just really enhances the overall feeling about that service. An example is uh, Quantum of Knowledge. This is a blog that ha that looks at the scientific um, approach behind well-being. So um, some examples are, you know, how cell phone use um, affects the brain. Um, any of these things as well, you know, just to talk, about con talk to consumers about what they're going through and um, a different alternative approach to how they're using different services is pretty cool. Um, so some examples of some service companies that might benefit from this may be, you know, a yoga uh, class or a yoga company that just gets out there and talks to people about alternative ways of being healthy and active. Um, just any service would really benefit from using WordPress because it's all about the consumer and helping them. Um, so there are five different marketing activities that can be utilized on uh, WordPress. The first, obviously, is blog. Um, in addition, there's viral marketing. You know, if there's a blog that I love, I'm going to tell my family and friends about it so that they'll subscri subscribe to that too. In addition, there's email marketing. This is really cool. If you like a blog, you can subscribe to it. And then you have the option of having an email sent to you every time that blog is updated. This is awesome because it's easy to stay in touch and um, stay tuned to what you want. So it's all, you know, relevant email, not just random stuff. Also, WordPress just came out with a mobile, um, and a mobile app that you can download onto your phone. So that if you're on the go, you can post blogs, review other blogs, do all that stuff that you do just from your computer. And then finally, there's video and podcasting. You can either... Um, post links so that, um, you know, if there's something that's relevant to the blog you're posting, people have the ability to go and check out that link on YouTube or whatever. Or you can actually um, video your blog so you can just talk it and do it live, which is pretty cool if you don't like writing. Uh, there are both unpaid and paid activities you can do on WordPress. Everything that I've talked about uh, is all free. So whether it's designing your site, using tags, posting, subscribing, all that stuff is free. In addition, there are some paid things you can do um, just to help enhance your blog if you're kind of ready to take it to the next step. One option that you can pay for is extra storage. That, that pricing for that just depends on how much storage you need, um, and it's an annual fee. The extra storage is just for if you're posting a lot of stuff and want people to be able to go be able to go back a couple of years and see what you posted, you know, when you first started. Um, another thing is custom. This is a product that's only $14.97 a year, and it's for those computer savvy people that want to go above and beyond the design templates that they have available for you. There's also unlimited users, so uh, organizations and companies that have 
you know, more than a few people posting on the blog, you may want to get this. Um, it just gives anyone with your admin, um, username and password, the ability to go in and update things as they need to. And then finally, there's video press. And that's where if you want to, you know, do live speaking of your blog or whatever you want to talk about, um, you can pay $59.97 a year so that you can post those blogs that way. WordPress is a really cool social medium that, uh, you know, takes that blogging that a lot of us are interested in and makes it user-friendly so that whether you're a first-time consumer wanting to talk about your favorite recipes or a large corporation that wants to get out in the community and talk to consumers, it's a really great way to get that marketing piece across.